I'm Aura. I am Mandy. And together we are Keep It Local. So today we are in uh, the town of Nantwich and we just thought we'd record a little um, video of um, what the town's like. So basically we'll do a video walking along so you can see the streets and the shops. A couple of facts about Nantwich. Nantwich has the highest concentrations of listed buildings. Did you know that? I didn't know that. There we go, yeah. Population about 18,000 and it sits in South Cheshire between Chester and Stoke-on-Trent. We love it for lots of reasons. We love it because there's lots of coffee shops, places to have lunch. It's also good for a night out, isn't it? Very good. So we'll go and show you. So this is Pillory Street here. So quirky. Look at the level um, little houses. I'd love one of these houses. But yeah, this is Pillory Street. This is one of our favourite uh, shops. Cheshire Cupcake. There's always a queue out there. They're brilliant. just off Pillory Street. It's really busy today. jewels here. See? Yeah, we even have the jewels. WH Smith, the works. So now we're on to the pedestrianised area. Nantwich is a fat face. Just over there, to the right. And the amazing Nantwich Beach Shop and Coffee Lounge. Ooh, just down here. This street has I can't remember. I can't remember what this street is. Ginger and Pickles is just down there. Oh, Mill Street. <laughs> Mill Street. Ginger and Pickles. And Coffees. And the Wickstead Arms, of course. Yeah. Um, this is Nantwich Bookshop and Coffee Lounge. Very cute place to have something to eat. Coffee. Browse the books. Very busy though, look. Something that we love about Nantwich is the amount of people that bring dogs. I mean, look under the table. We love that. And there's a little market on. Some really cute shops. Fish and chips. Yum. So the bottom. 
Bolton and Pepper Street. You just come out there. That brings you onto Beam Street up there. It heads you to Marks and Spencers. Um, Bench is another bar and restaurant up there that we like to go to. And then we'll just continue here, Deadwood Smokehouse. Mall Bank. Shop. Coming up on your right you've got home bargains and then on your left you've got super drug card factory and straight ahead you've got boots so kind of standard shops that you'd find in a in a town centre. The beauty in Antwich is along with those shops is the amount of independent little boutiques and retailers. And then you can see straight ahead some of those wonderful buildings, listed buildings that the town is famous for. It's almost like a miniature Chester, Chester on a small scale. I heard somebody say that earlier actually, that they used to live in Chester, but they've moved to Nantwich because it was very similar. Jake was doing this. My sister told Jake that she'd been sleeping with her with Jake. <laughs> Always a drama. <laughs> look at these buildings. Just look. Beautiful, aren't they? So the crown. Is it hotel, Andy, the crown? I <laughs> didn't see that bit. Just gorgeous. I'll actually take you. There's a little entrance here, isn't there? Oh, we'll, we'll go under there. It's so cute. then brings you out to one of the main parking areas there's a couple of good car parks in Nantwich actually um, and this is one of them so you can just you literally park here and you just walk right the way through and we'll just walk back up this other alleyway here just by the back of the Nat West because that then takes you to one of our favorite um, drinking hole watering holes couldn't be the word watering holes at Ebenezer's so it's just up this alleyway. back up another cute little corridor entry whatever you want to call it that brings you out into that main drag again by the Nantwich 
bookshop. Oh yeah, this sign here. Don't know whether you can read it, but God grant our royal queen in England long to reign for she hath put her helping hand to build this town again. Very cute. So this is just Hospital Street now. I think this um, street is one of the streets that attracts some independent retailers down here. Shop. It is called the cheese shop, look. Artisan cheeses. Busy bots. And we've got Jackson's, an independent retailer. They've been here a long time in Antwerp. And Foundations. They have a great social media presence. Good to check them out. Sharp fix, aesthetics. Christmas across there. And we're just going to slip down through the cocoa yard, coca yard. I think this is so cute. So some of the retailers down here, Coco's, we've had breakfast there, haven't we, before Andy? Yeah, barbershop, Mr. Mr. Magpie cards. See the church bell, someone's just got married. Just gonna look what that is. Coach Manufactory. During the 19th century, this chimney was part of Wheelwright's Forge and Smithy making parts for horse drawn coaches in the adjacent Welch's Coach Manufactory. Bella's Bows. favourite shop. In fact, I'm going to go in and walk the line. She's amazing. She sells all vintage, retro clothing. Did you exit there, Coco Yard? Across there you've got Nantwich Players. Twitch Museum, which is actually free to enter. They're the opening hours there, if that helps. And we're back where we started. They're very cute, Instagrammable Cheshire cupcakes. And that's it, we're back in the car. We've had some chips, we've uh, had a walk round, we've looked at the market. And now we're on our way back home. Say bye, and yeah. thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.